to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Yes, he was, man. Uh, who's that? It's you. It's your Spanish version of you. <laughs> yes, he was, man. I'm sure you used to that now, out in L.A. Oh, yes, he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you get a lot, right? I got a lot in a restaurant that I would work, work at. Oh, all the time. Look, I'm not saying who or who's not usually in the kitchen. Yeah. But it's yes, he. Soft J. Yes, he. Yeah. Soft J. Not even a J. <laughs> it's just a Y at that point. <laughs> Um, and then yes is Jess, right? Sure. So I was always very confused. I was like, so you can say it. Ah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> I was like, say yes, Jess. <laughs> say Jesse. <laughs> Yessie. Very confusing. <laughs> so, you know, no rhyme or reason. No, not at all. Not at all. Speaking of rhyme or reason. No racism either. None. I don't know. I, I didn't say anything about anybody's none. race. I didn't say anything about anybody's race. No, me neither. Just how cooks in a kitchen sometimes yeah. talk. Yeah. Any race. Of course. Or color. Or credence. Or credence or nationality. Yeah. You bet. Uh, speaking of rhyme and reason, James. <laughs> a lot of rap albums coming out. What were you going to say? I was just going to keep going. Nah, we need to cut that off. On my bullshit. Yeah, that's where we it's where we get into trouble. It there. wasn't racism, but I was thinking on the way over here. Uh huh. You you always say like you've made it when you're a New York Times bestseller, right? Yes. So and you're always like, Well, what is your thing? Like what would what, yeah, what would be your thing? My thing is if I walk into a restaurant and people are like and the chefs are like scared and like want to make me the best meal. Okay. And I think it might happen sometime in my life because I talk about food so much yeah. and restaurants. And if I get big enough, whether it's podcasting or anything or following, yeah. if I walk in somewhere and they know it's me, I would love, like in my mind, I would love for the chefs to be like, Je Jesse Wiseman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Broettes. Yeah. We have to make her a good meal, right? Mm -hmm. Or else she will destroy us. Right? And she has the the ability to do it. Sure. The, the only problem is the that only thing happen. that's going to make you happy at any of these restaurants is noodles and butter. So it's like, yeah, but I'll be going to those restaurants, right? And you make the worst choices. So like you're going to be angry about the food no matter what, because mm -hmm. if I'm not with you and I don't physically but choose, th they'll your send me item. out stuff. Oh, all right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So like anytime a big chef, like let's say David Chang goes into a restaurant. Yeah. He always complains that like, he literally gets so much food sent to him mm -hmm. that it's like, uh huh, okay, thanks. And he gets so stuffed. Yeah. Because they keep wanting to, like, do you like it? Show him it's nice, their right? stuff. Yeah. Do you like this? Food? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just want that to happen to me one time. Well, it might. One place. It might. Play your cards right, you know? And what were you, what, what bullshit are you talking about? Some rapper? Man, I, so on the way here, Typically, I'm amped about new music all the time, you know? Okay. In the last two weeks, we've had... Dude, Lil Wayne just dropped today. Out of nowhere. Yeah. Which one is that? Brand new album. Is it Carter Six? No, it's called oh. The Funeral. Ooh. So... Eesh. Okay. Yeah. Um, he did some cool shit on there as far as like... Man, I don't know when these guys, when their upload is. Maybe it really is like podcasts. Because everybody asks us all the time. They're like... How far in advance do you guys record? Uh, how much editing is involved? Blah, 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 blah. Mm. We can get these episodes up within 15 minutes. Um, if we needed to, yeah. Y yeah, and sometimes we have. Like, mm -hmm, yeah. We have, depending upon what the topic is or what's going on, right? And it goes out to iTunes. It goes out to all of these outlets and instantaneously. You know, it's just fucking boom. Um, it's, it's right in your b-hole right there. I'm starting to think that these albums are very similar where you can just kind of email the tracks into your iTunes, label. Well, label. to your label, and, the, and then they can upload it real quick, and that's it. Boom, you're done. Here's why I say this. It's just monetizing it. Here's why I say this. Yeah. 
on Lil Wayne's album, mm -hmm. Kobe just died. Right. To put an album out is requires a lot of time and work. On track eight, uh, which is one of Kobe's jersey numbers, mm -hmm. he left at the end of it 24 seconds of silence, mm -hmm. which is his other jersey number, 24. Sure. The track list was only 24 songs, mm -hmm. which is his jersey. So it's like, you know, he was a diehard Kobe fan, and, and, you know, clearly he did this for him, and this was the tribute and everything else. But, I mean, this just happened. How do you do it that quickly? It's got to be the same process as ours. Yeah. Um, the album is hit and miss. Uh, as is Lil Wayne. And it's Lil, right? Lil, still yeah. Lil. Um, and then, I, look, I'll get into all of it now. Because everybody was asking about what I thought of the Eminem album. I fucking hated it. I didn't think it was very good. Um, I don't know what the rush is right now for people. Like, the Carter Five just came out what, last year. Yeah. That was like 10 years in the making. And mm -hmm. granted, it, it was probably done for 10 years. But uh, right. spent a little more time on these. Uh, Eminem put out a 30 track. It was like 30 tracks, something crazy. Um, it just wasn't very good. Uh, and the, this one, this this will break my heart to say this one, because I look, I gave him a revolutionary figure of the day on the show, and I was amped about this album, but it was Mac Miller's. Mm. Um, the the lead single off the the Mac Miller album, Good News, fantastic. Sure, lights out. That's exactly what I wanted out of Mac Miller. Right. The rest of it was kind of. I I think if he was still alive, he probably would have been like, man, I'm gonna wait. He wasn't a guy that rushed out albums. Right. How, how do you know what he really wanted at the end of the day? And it's just, uh, it's tough. Um, but there hasn't been just a bangerific album yet um, for a while. And uh, there's a lot coming out. With rap, you're able to drop really quickly. I just think you need more time. Spend mm -hmm. more time on this shit. Uh, the other interesting part about it is Coldplay. You know, I talked about how you and I went into graphic detail about how their album sucked. Yeah. They're doing a fuck ton of press right now. For that album? Yes. It came out two months ago. Now, clearly, to do this much press, because he was just on Ellen like a week ago, a week and a half ago, promoting the album, and I was like, hey, bro, a little late on this one. Yeah. Whatever dollar amount the label spent on them, they were probably like, hey, you, you guys need to hit the road and really promote this shit because oh, it is oh, not oh. doing well. I mean, there has been no one talking about it whatsoever. Uh, now, if you're Coldplay, they're about to go on a worldwide tour. People are going to go see Coldplay just because they're Coldplay and it doesn't matter. They're going to make a gajillion dollars. I won't. I know you won't. Um, but everybody else will in the world. Okay. Therefore, I don't, I don't really know that they care about the albums anymore. Where it's just like, eh. It's more just, well, then why put one out? If you're going to get the same money this for... This is exactly why I brought this up today. Okay. So why, why race these albums out if you're going to tour anyways and you're somebody like Lil Wayne, Eminem, or Coldplay? Why race this shit when it's like, do people are going to come see you and pay for your... You've had long, long enough careers. Right. Just spend some time on it. And this is the thing that is most impressive about um, Post Malone is I felt... This last album, before it came out, I was just like, oh, that's too close to the other one. But it was amazing. It was incredible. Incredible. And he's three for three, and it's just like, I, but, but beforehand, I was like, oh, I'll give this a listen, but I know this is going to suck, and it didn't. Well, the people that you're talking about that are racing stuff out are, are old. older. Yeah. And they're either delusional or they're either in a place of just they're not um connected how do you say this uh they're separated from what's really going on right yes. they're not in it they're not in it they're yeah. older they're in their gated communities they're in there right mm -hmm. um and maybe they're trying to like stay they see someone else doing all this stuff and they're trying to do it too right like i'm the best there is i'm gonna put one out too right, right, right. um and if and those people in their younger days, Lil Wayne. Sorry, it's really hard for me to say that. Sure. What's his name? Does he have a name name? Uh, it's Lil. No, no, like the... a name name? Does he have a real name that people call him? 
He, well, yeah, is, is Carter. I mean, he's Mr. Carter, obviously. He goes by a lot of names. Wheezy. Okay. Wheezy F Baby, if you want to call him that. Maybe Wheezy feels more. Sure, sure. <laughs> it's just like pussy. Like, I can't say, I just can't say it. I feel whiter than I already am. So I would love to know his actual name. But um, um I wish. back in his day, <laughs> Wheezy's day, Mr. Wheezy. Yeah. Um, His name is he, Dwayne, Dwayne Carter. Dwayne Carter. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. So in Dwayne's day. Yeah. Um, and uh, Marshall <laughs> Mathers in his day as well. They um, they could do that shit. I mean, remember when. Uh, <laughs> Wheezy. Sorry. There it is. <laughs> Keep forgetting. There Dwayne. When he was on all those drugs, I mean, he could just put out songs like that night and they'd be fucking good. I'm, I'm going to stop you right um, there. It is like you're reading my mind today. We did not talk about this beforehand, but these segues are amazing. So that's, oh. that's the first thing I thought of was like, that's the drugs. He did an or, interview. But just, to, Wait, but just being young and being in it and being partying he with did people. did an interview last like, night and he's still drinking fucking lean through this entire interview. Are you sure, though? Positive. Okay. 100% positive. Okay. So it's not the drugs then. It's. As we previously thought, and we did say that all the time, where it's just like, I wish he would just do drugs again. There's some people that I'm just like, just go back to drinking. Like, you made great stuff. Um, but Eminem, too. Like, he could put out a track back in the day. He could put out a track Oof. probably on that pills, night. He was the on best. On pills. Or when he was working with, you know, he was like in it, in the studio, partying mm -hmm. around people in the scene right yeah i think it's different so like post malone is down and dirty and in the shit still i think but it's quicker shocking. than quicker than these other people he may get separated from that from money something a house on the hill he's young he's young so he will get to that point at some point yeah but now he's in it and he's close enough to not having money he's close enough to the time where he was hungry and didn't yeah, have yeah, anything yeah. that it's still great but i mean coldplay i'm not even adding to this fucking conversation i'm sorry but um they've been kind of done for a long time and in a lot of people's eyes they were never so i'm not gonna add them to it Oof. i'm sorry your love of Coldplay is what it is, I, and you defend it to the end. But that. I am not, not going that. to go I, I down just, that road. I look at their numbers, album sales wise. Absolutely, but and that's fine. They destroyed the. But we're talking about putting out back to back albums, or just like being fucking the best yeah. and being like, holy shit. And I think Father Time Ugh. gets everyone. So, Does it not? So uh, somebody, uh, a bunch of people hit me up after the fucking Kobe episode when I was talking about inspiration and work ethic and drive, right? Mm -hmm. And the the questions I get the most are regarding bo the books, right? When's the next one coming out? Mm -hmm. When's the next fucking hot shit coming out? I don't know that answer um, because I want to take my time and get it right. Mm -hmm. If I stick a date on it, I... <sighs> If I stick a date on it and it's not correct, I don't want to push something out just to push it out. Right. I want it to be as great as the others. So I don't know. I have no idea. And as the process goes along, I'll know later and I'll tell you guys, obviously. And I usually give everybody like a three or four month heads up. Right. It's not there yet. So, I, hey, I'm not going to race it out just to put something out into the fucking world. Um, I'm not. It's like me trying to be on TikTok. It's a young gal's game. <laughs> and once all of us old ass bitches get on there. It ruins it. The, they're going to leave, by the way. The young people are going to be like, TikTok's <laughs> over. Fucking boomers are here, right? I can't. Don't think that you can get on TikTok right now at a certain age and be like in it. I don't. I don't. The TikTok thing, I don't get. It's just Look, Instagram. I mean, it's just fucking of, Instagram stories. Kind That's of, it. but they don't do the same algorithm. So right now it's pure. Ooh. It won't always be that way. But at the same time, it's a young, it's a young gal's game. It's just uh, so again, Lil, Lil Wayne, Lil, yeah, Lil Wayne, Dwayne, Marshall Mathers. They see all these other people doing it, people that they smashed back in the day, and they're like, "Guess what? I can do it too." And you can't. He's only thirty-seven, though. Like, Who? Lil Wayne. Okay, but that's a weathered. 
long <laughs> lit. I mean, that's a long 37, right? When did he start? Yeah. Uh, he's, I think he was like 18 or something. No, he was 13. When he was on his first track, he was on 13, okay. 13 years old. So there you 24 go. 24 years old. And I mean, 24 years of music. Made money, almost died. Numerous um, times. Numerous times. In and out of rehab, I'm sure. Some kind of rehab. Whether it was real or yeah, not yeah, real, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, long court battles over music. I mean, he's in music age. Yeah. In music years. He's I think, like 60, I think. So I think book-wise, um, yes, I think book-wise, I'm, I'm, mine will be at 60. I think that's, I, that's it. I think I have another, you know. Oh, you'll be at a real 60. A real 60. Not in, not in book numbers. No, no, no. Not in no. entertainment. Age, age. Entertainment years are a lot um, shorter than real years. Yes. I, I think 60 for writers is probably the tap out point. Um, I look at the, the Game of Thrones guy. Like Everybody keeps asking me if he'll write or not. And no, he won't. He will never finish that book. He will no. never write a new one. He is too fucking old. It is too much material. Those books are a thousand pages long. Mm. The edits on those are brutal. Um, if you fuck up one thing on page 887, it could affect the other. Something on page 30, you're fucked. Uh, that guy's never writing it and putting out another book again. And I can promise you if he does, somebody else wrote it. Um, he's just too old. You, you can't. To, to go through that every day is, is too much. I think 60 is probably my max of like, all right, 60 years old. I'm like, that's it. I don't, there's nothing left in the tank. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. But it makes me, God, listening to that today on the way to work, I was just like, God damn it, man. How much time do we have left? Maybe you're different. Creative, creatively. I hope. Maybe you're different. Maybe those songs are fire. What do you mean? Maybe that album's no, uh, fire uh, and you don't. So uh, it's a great point. Um, and I, because I often think that of like, all right, maybe I'm not hearing something. Because I go through the same thing. There's very few artists where I go through the same thing where I'm like, I don't really get this. Uh, Drake is one of them. Where I, I listen to a Drake album, take whatever, the last two or three. 30% of those songs, I'm like, all right, rad, right? Mm -hmm. Then there's other ones where I just don't get. And then like fucking, t you know, four weeks later, after the 90th time they've played it on the radio, I'm like, oh, I get this. Why didn't I get this the first time? Mm, um, maybe. And then I usually go to Twitter. Twitter, as shitty as it is in hell on earth, they've got some pretty honest opinions. And um, it's the same. Like, I, I went through Twitter and everybody said the same thing I did. Mm -hmm. Just like, hey, it's real hit and oh, miss. Okay. And some of these beats are sloppy. And right. some of the production is as well. And it's like, you know, I think it's a pretty good gauge of shit where you're like, all right, great. And then others... Where, you know, a banger drops and it's just there forever and you're like, oh shit, that's, mm. that's huge and that's what it is. Like Drake and Future dropped a, a single a couple weeks ago that was great. Um, mm. Dropped a great video we talked about on the show. Uh, they dropped another one today. Just thought it was mediocre. It was just like, meh. Um, Twitter is probably the best gauge at this point. Mm -hmm. Going back and forth. Uh, the, the, the BTS thing will still be beyond me. Like I'll never... And they take over Twitter anytime they're on a, an, an appearance or a song or anything like they are everything in this world. It is fucking insane. And I don't get any of it. Mm -hmm. And if any of them listen to the show, we would be torn down. Maybe burned alive. Any of them? Yeah. Or any people Their that fans like are them. fucking yeah. ruthless. I don't think we have any. No, I'm, I'm glad there's no crossover of BTS fans on this show. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be weird? Oh, God, it would. A little K-pop? Hey, man, if you guys love K-pop, you'll love this podcast. Again, I'm banking on clearly no Asians. What do you mean? Listening to the show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. None. If they did, they'd be mortified. Yeah, probably. Probably. I would have gotten a message by now, don't you think? Eh, would you? Do you check them? Yes. Tree falls, you know. Can you fuck it? Well, I have three different categories in the DMs. Mm. Start going through so those. So there's yeah. like the request, the general, yeah. and the primary. By the way, the, the way that that's set up is the dumbest shit of all time. It's so stupid. Uh, so, same with Facebook. Because there's like people who message us on Facebook and they're like, 
dude, did you get the message? And I was like, no. No. But it, it'll be separated in some other bin that you're just like, oh, we didn't know if you fucking like this I person. Know, it's like, I know. Hey, man, I really don't give a like shit. Like, if my thing is public, just give them all, put them all in. Yeah. That's it. Put them Why? all in. Don't care. Why would you not? I don't understand it. Maybe I need to change something on there. Don't segregate it. So that they all go into one thing, yeah. Thing. Yeah. Like, why do you need to request to message me? I have my thing all open. Now, there's some people. Location I've, services. Some people. Microphone. I've muted, I've muted where it's just like, hey, man, I'm good on this. Well, yeah, if you mute someone, you know that you mute them. I do, but they don't. Yeah, but I have only muted one person. Oh, I have muted many. I've only muted one person. And many. It's KGB. Anytime. What's what? KGB. Who, what's KGB? It's the person that I've muted. Oh. <laughs> what, what, what is that? KGB? Yeah, just a, a human? Mm-hmm. Okay. And that was their username or? No, that's my name for them. Oh, okay. Do I know this person? Mm-hmm. Oh. Shit. Who is it? Now I'm curious. So think about like what the KGB does. They just kind of infiltrate. Yeah. And destroy. Oh, I know who that is then. I know exactly who that is. Now you know why I call her KGB. Yeah, smart, Jabes. Smart. Um, yeah, no, I've got a bunch of people. Anytime you send me more than eight messages, I'm good. If we're not best friends, it's too many messages. I can't, can't possibly answer those. I don't care, guys. Just so you know, rude. I don't care. No, not at all. Send me whatever. Not at all. It, I it, just... it's, there's thousands, and here's the thing. I want to... I'm being dead serious when Calm I say down. this. I want to, I, I try to answer everyone. I try to. Um, but if there's a flood of the same person asking 90 questions again, then I can't answer everybody. So I try. But it's like, man, I can't have a conversation about. What a life. How much grease to put on a, on a tricycle wheel. What a life no, you have. not at all. Not at all. What a horrible life you have. <laughs> I'm not saying that. So what we've learned today, <laughs> folks. Ross hates you. No, that's not true. I love all of you. I just would like to answer everyone personally. That is my goal. That's what I try to do. Don't gum up the. Yeah, try to do it. Don't muck it up. Yeah, because there's people like. Don't ruin it And here's for what happened now. is I, I ended up answering like a few people like seven or eight times and like, you know, my name recognition and all that shit is terrible, right? Horrible. Well, finally, after like eight or nine times with, with like certain people, I was just like, fuck, man. I feel like I've seen that name before. And then I'll scroll up and be like, oh, shit, man. I've answered this like eight or nine times. Eight or nine Motherfucker, times. what are you yeah. asking me at this point? You know? Right. Like recommendations on an Italian place in, in New York. And I'm like, bro, I, fuck, man. I have no idea. You know? Yeah. Olive uh, Garden. We Times just, Square. We just go to Yelp. Go there. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I usually pick the place and then you pick the dish. <laughs> what? That's what we've decided, yeah. right? Yes, it is. Because you, when you pick a place, you don't do well every time. Um, but and by the you way, you have messed up before to for this, sure. To this point, um, there was a guy who hit me up. It was just like, "Hey, man, I'm in Columbus, uh, Ohio." And he's like, "Oh, can't go wrong there." What's well, a great place to watch the game, have a beer, and whatever, right? And and I answered, "Pine um, House." Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Swear to God. Yeah. And he was like, "Oh man, it's I'm the really best place." Because I'm really, if it's not I'm really shocked you answered that. And I was like, "I'm really shocked you asked." <laughs> Like, why? <laughs> Look, there's so many places. Look, like me hitting up Theo Vaughn and just saying, hey, man, you got a spot in Louisiana? In Louisiana? I Maybe he does. There. Maybe he does. But do you think he wants that message from me? Probably not, man. <laughs> I think he does. I think here's what I like. And I'm so sorry for him, you guys. I'll make it up to you. <laughs> So here's what I like is that it's a, that people feel so comfortable with us because I would ask a friend that like if you're from Columbus, sure. if you were my friend, which you aren't. Yep. We're definitely not friends. We're definitely not friends. We are lovers. No. Yeah. Don't say lovers. James. Don't say lovers. We're lovers. Let everyone Don't know. Don't say that. We're hardcore Don't lovers. S- Stop saying We're lovers. more than friends. Lovers. <laughs> Stop. So, train of thought. But anyways, if you were like a friend, I would say, hey, where should I go in Columbus? 
So what I like is that they feel comfortable, that people feel comfortable enough with us <clears throat> that they'll just be like, ask us things that they would ask their friends. So here, here's, here's the difference on that, right? And I appreciate that. Yeah. I don't even want to bother my own friends on text messages and shit of like, hey man, where should I go to wherever? Like, they're fucking busy. You think they want to get this text in a meeting and just be like, oh shit, it's fucking 145. I guess I'm in now, a conference now call. <clears throat> I'm in a conference call. Age... Ross wants to know <laughs> where I should go in Kansas City. The age of the internet makes it so that certain questions yes. become redundant, right? Where it's like, I find my places the same way that you would find your place, which is Yelp and reviews. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But things like the Pint House, that may not come up on somebody's radar. You know what I mean? Should. Or like some weird place. Here's an example. Tony, our friend from Louisiana. Oh, Tony Temporello. Yeah. He gave us like really good recommendations, right? Yes. For brunch and dinner and mm -hmm. stuff, and they were awesome, and they're not places that were showing up. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you're mean. I'm nice. Tony's whatever. A, Tony's a good friend, though. You're a dick. I'm not. Don't message him. I, here's the thing. If no, you 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 more than can't. Um, you can you can absolutely message me. I I guess it's my way of life where I I don't like to inconvenience people. Where I'm just like ah. Like, unless it's super important, I try not to text somebody. You inconvenience me every day. Why? Because we're lovers? Yeah. 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 How do I inconvenience you? You'll fucking just ask me, text me bullshit, dude, all day. <laughs> like what? What's, what's the bullshit that I... For real. Really think about it. Do I do that? I don't. No, you don't. I don't, right? Because I don't want to bother you. I know you're, look, if I'm at work, you're with the kids, like, I don't want to bother you with some stupid shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. I even, I even, I, I respect you enough where I'm like, man, she's busy as fuck. The last thing she wants to do is dig through her purse in the grocery store with two kids, toting around, and then see my fucking bullshit text pop up of like, hey, I can't find my penis. <laughs> Would you help me find it? <laughs> <laughs> when you hear that ding go off and you dig through your purse and you're like, oh, shit, man, it's Ross. Uh, it's got to uh, be important. Uh, what is it? What is Can it? Can you help me find my penis? I can't find it. Ugh. You would hate me right. for the rest of the evening. So I leave you alone. I would. Yeah, I leave I you would. alone. Same with friends. Um, I'll keep it. I'll, here's where I go with it, right? On group text games, because I know we're all watching the same game mm -hmm. or something. Um, or if it's super important of like, hey, man, I've got to a question pertaining to mm -hmm. X or if I'm coming in town to see someone, you know, mm. and I'm like, Hey, you want to get together? Like other than that, I try not to mm. uh, do that. I actually call people. Yeah, me too. And I leave messages and I called my, uh, the other day, this is before this is pre Kobe death, by the way. Um, I'm gonna give myself a little shine. I called up all of my friends and I just went down the list and I called like seven or eight friends that I haven't talked to in a while. And I just said, hey, man, no, no one answered. <laughs> why, why did you do this? Just say, hey, just checking on you, seeing how you're doing. And, I, and as I said on my message and I, to all of them, I said, know that this is nothing important whatsoever. Just calling to say I love you and I hope everything is great in your life and with your family. And that's it. Before Kobe's died? You oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, I'll try to do it twice a year. And just kind of check on people and be like, hey, man, how are you? How's your life? Right. What's going on? Blah, blah, blah. But I want to talk to them. I don't want to send that in a text message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did that. Nobody answered. And by the way. Because they were busy. Exactly. And I, <laughs> I get text messages back from them. Text messages, yeah. Yeah, not phone calls, text messages. And one of them was just like, hey, man, are you all right? Is everything okay? Yeah. And I was like, are you dying? Is yeah. totally fine by me. Mm -hmm. And I love you. And just want to make sure you're right. And, and he was like, on. man, that was like the nicest thing ever. He's like, uh, I'm really sorry. I was on set and I was busy and whatever. And I was like, I get it. But me, me know that Tiffany, you got this message from me. Yeah. Me and Tiffany always joke because we just call each other. You should. Like, in st we pretty much talk every day, obviously, at this point. But sure. like, um, she would try and text me and I would just like call because I'm like, it's going to be too long of a text. Like, let's just. Yep. Same here. 
Um, you, I call. I have a friend. Me too. I have a friend that does the voice message. The oh, audio God, message. Nothing makes me angrier than the audio messages. Because then I've got to sit there and listen I know. to that. And really, if you're going to send a text, like I really just want to look at it. If you're going to call, call. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yep. But this in between where I have to like listen to the whole thing and then like remember Tiffany talks about this where you like remember the couple things they talked about and then try and answer them in a in your own voice text back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then it deletes after a certain amount of time. But that's and the reason why a lot of people do it. Call you call someone that unless you're being recorded, you're fine. Exactly. So but I'm the same where I'm just like, man, I'd rather call them or talk to them. Yeah. I don't know how we got off on this tangent, but um, because you're bullshit, probably. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you're rude ass bullshit. <laughs> one person, by the way, one of my buddies was just like, "Everything good, like financially and everything else." And I was like, "Oh, like you're asking?" Yeah, yeah. And I was like, "For money, man, things are great, bro." And I was like, "He's like, oh, cool, man," because I saw your book was like, like number one, like everything's good. And I'm like, "Hey, man, I'm just calling to see if you're right." Right. <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> and he goes, shit, no one, he goes, no one ever calls me to see if I'm all right. And he goes, I really appreciate it. He goes, usually people are calling for other things. And I'm like, yeah, I don't, nothing. Just yeah. calling to say that. Um, yeah, it was really funny. It was really fucking funny. Um, and the one I just didn't even hear back from, Mikey. I'll, I'll shout him out now, Mikey, Michael Raymond James, you SOB. Oh, yeah. he's super busy. Not fucking busy as me. He's shooting. For Christ's sakes. So what? You know how much downtime you have on a set? Look, when we were in Vegas shooting, did you have that much any time to to text anyone? I had no time to text well, anyone Well, here's the difference back. between podcast shooting and acting shooting. Acting shooting, eh, it's mm. 15 minutes tops and you're back in your trailer. That's fair. Mikey. Is it looking back on it now? So since you've Ugh. been through this schedule, right? Yeah. For, for all of this shit. Because I, I know, you know, you bitch about, me or you used to you don't anymore i think because you're you're in it now you bitch about my schedule and like man i don't understand should i answer tiffany's call no, I'm just kidding. no is, is it tiffany yeah. yeah yeah tell her no i'm recording bitch should um, I just tell yeah her go ahead um but you're live you're live on air yeah you're live on air now on ross patterson revolution so put her up oh to my god i'm so sorry that i'm being a pain in the ass and calling <laughs> we, it was so funny as we were just talking about calling people instead of texting them and i was like me and were tiffany you? i was like me and tiffany just call each other we just we broke that fucking weird texting like do we call do we text like i don't know <laughs> we just fucking call and guess what this we is literally the conversation we're having live how on air right now perfect that's yeah. how connected we are for that reason. <laughs> i know i'm sorry i was like i'm just gonna answer it though have her on the show for a second um oh, shit all right, I'll call you back. <laughs> yeah, call me back. Love you. Bye. Bye. And that's what friends should do. Yeah. Boom. Totally impromptu. This is exactly what I'm I talking didn't about. I text her and tell, me to call, tell her to call me. Yes. But what was funny, too, is earlier today I texted, like, can I call you in a second to talk about next week's schedule? Yeah. And she didn't respond to the text. And so I just called her. <laughs> and I was like, do you like how I asked if I could call you? And then I just called you anyways. She's like, yeah. It's ridiculous. Um, but no, so uh, w- w- with this schedule and everything we've been through right now, right? You used to bitch about the, like, how are you so fucking busy and why? Now that you've been through it, isn't it crazy when you're only- I these... couldn't respond to anyone. Like anyone no one... in my real life, like with like my mom watching the kids or like school stuff or like my friends that were at home, like I literally could not respond to anyone because- a time difference then b we'd be just shooting setting up shooting yeah. setting up so i had no time to respond to anything so yeah i get it it doesn't mean that you're any less of an asshole but i know you get there's it there's nothing you can do but ha- having gone through this schedule now isn't it crazy like the hours are actually longer than like a movie i'll give you just acting in a movie you oh my God, there was so out. much time sitting around. Like <laughs> I spent so much time on my phone on, let's say, range 15, for example. Yeah. Um, between getting your makeup and hair done, waiting to shoot, yep. getting <laughs> in the fucking lunch. You have all day long. You do. I don't, but you do. Yeah. You do it all day long. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and that's the way it is. And then you end up in these hotels or whatever you are. And your skin gets fucking terrible. You get sick. All this other shit. Even our producer Jamie was just like, "Hey man, you should not 
wear a red hat on camera anymore. And um, when I, did you wear a red hat? Yesterday, uh, on yesterday's uh, show. And uh, did it bring out the the redness, the gorgeousness? Yeah, the fucking blotchy Steve Bannon type skin oh, that I okay. have now gotcha, since coming gotcha. back from Vegas. And I was like, and I told him, I was like, man, you were right. I appreciate the heads up. And he goes, uh, of course, man, protecting the brand, you know, obviously. And I was like, great, that's what you should do. Mm-hmm. But the other part of that was, I go, you know, we were in Vegas. I think there was like three entire days where we didn't even leave the hotel or see sunlight at all, right? And, Through the uh, window, which yeah, yeah. we learned from the esthetician is like still <laughs> the bad UV rays, none of the good stuff. So I'm like, oh, cool. Have so you we guys aired sitting- that episode yet? Uh, not yet, but it's going to be not next week, but she the week after. She was great. After. I overheard like half of it. It was really good. Yeah, yeah. She's awesome, and girls are really looking forward to that one, just because she answers all the questions that we have yeah. and has no real um, agenda behind it, uh, and she's just cool and very, uh, her voice makes, it's like when a doctor's talking to you, mm-hmm. and you're like, oh. Okay, she just has that kind of voice, right? But right. she's like cool, has pink hair. Yeah. But then when she talks, you're like, everything she says sounds like very, I don't know, scientifically like calm. I don't know. It was you funny. Know what I she mean. she friended all of us on yeah, Instagram yeah, yeah. after the show. So I, you know, friended her back and and I followed her, and she was asking like a serious question to the audience, you know, like her her peeps, you mm-hmm. know, and um, and like, what do you want to change beauty wise mm, about yeah, yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just said, like, in 2020, what are you looking for? And I, you, you try to comment because you realize the comments will help and get it out mm-hmm. more and, and it affects the algorithm. So I just said, I'm looking for a taint shrinker. Um, so if that's out there, beauty-wise, that's what mm-hmm. I'm personally looking for. Mm-hmm. just want to take an a- inch off the taint, you know, How shrink nice it up a little bit. How nice of you to support. So anyway. Well, here, here's the beauty of it is because, like, I have a – one of those blue check marks mm-hmm. it goes to the top and like it just started this whole thread on her thing no but it helps because it just keeps it going right mm-hmm. everybody was dying laughing of like what the fuck um but it was one of those like high comments like late at night where you're just like i think this will be funny and then you forget about it for a day and you're like holy shit there's like 90 responses to it she's gonna regret ever coming into this community you betcha <laughs> anyways so not next week but the week after i'm looking forward to it all your it, look all of these shows we record in Vegas are fucking bangers. So they're really good. So really it's just good. really, and then we're doing new content too. So it's not all like stack interviews. Stuff. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. it's going to be a freshie and then an archive. Well, it's just something cool. Like people you wanted to talk to. And then, uh, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying like the drops for the week, we're going to do a freshie. Yeah. And then, a um, an interview and, I would love for you guys to hear them all right now, but like, you know. Well, the one that's out today on Drinking Bros, which is a crossover episode with Drinking Broettes, is my favorite. And we, that's on, it's just on Drinking Bros. Uh, it'll be on Broettes at the end of the week. So um, it'll be on mm-hmm. both both feeds. Uh, so you guys will be, you, you guys will have three episodes out this week. Oh, three. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We're not using that one as one of ours. It'll be a bonus. Yes, correct. Yeah. Um, and, uh, uh, the beauty of it is, is if you've, if you've listened to it by now, um, we had talked to Tiffany about her, her love of porn and her favorite porn star and not her love of porn. Just this one, well, this one like, yeah, she yeah. likes this porn star. Yeah. And this one, what clip. are the chances that I get a call in the middle of the afternoon in Vegas and saying, Hey man, do you want to have this porn star on the show? This, this dude. And I was like, who is it? And it's small hands. It's the, it's the guy that yeah. she was talking about on the show. Yeah. And how weird is that? You do a show, and then three weeks later, boom. there he is. Yeah, uh, they say never meet your heroes, but uh, he was great. He was great. He was great. That's we a great really episode. Really liked him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen to that on Drinking Bros. You can peep it out on Drinking Broettes. Uh, let's get to the sponsors so we can really fucking get into the show and put our jeans on together. I mean, what more is there to even talk about? Uh, two lovers. I'm just joking. Just two lovers. lovers. Two lovers. Um, let me find this. I got an email from Rich last night. Boom, there it is. Um, for Ghost Bed. First and foremost, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. President's Day sale. Yep, 15, Ooh, 15% off 15% everything. 15% off. Mm-hmm. So basically, they're extending 
their first responder uh, military discount to, to everyone, all the dum dums, all of us, all of us, fucking dum dums, all us dum dums get to get to partake in a little bit of the fun, a yes. little bit of the glory. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today and uh, you get 15% off everything in the store. Everything doesn't get better than that. It doesn't. I know at Christmas they ran a 25% off sale. I know. Now it's 15 because let's face it, Christmas is Christmas. That's special. President's Day is. The point is, they president's. always have something, which is awesome. Yeah. Like they always have some kind of deal going mm-hmm. on. Just a great fucking company like an king. Yeah, they're awesome. They're awesome. Um, here's the beauty of this this uh, 15% off uh, that still works with a 36 month pay as you go program and no interest. So don't think, hey man, I took this discount off. You usually don't get back to back shit like that. You do. Um, so shit, man. With that in the thirty six month page you go program, no interest. Come on, you're fucking dealing. You can get anything you want with that. Um, which is rad, dude. They're always doing awesome shit there. Um, because that's adjustable bases, pillows, mattresses, sheets, everything. All their products are the best. And uh yeah, man, I was we signed with these huge advertisers. Got off the phone with them today when we, uh, when I was talking to them, and they were like, "Man, Ghost Pet's fucking awesome! Like, how great is that product?" And I was like, "I've had it for years at this point. Like, clearly, they're the best in the biz, or we wouldn't have had them on mattress wise. You know what I'm saying?" True. Uh, next up, we got StrikeForceEnergy.com. <laughs> boom, boom, boom! Shabloinkers. Shabloinkers. I'm such a good friend that I still have the bottle in my fucking bag. No way. Yeah. You didn't give it to her, huh? If you expect me to do anything in a timely fashion mm-hmm. and not procrastinate to the very last second and or not do it, you don't know me. You don't You don't know me, homie. Yeah, if you don't know me by now. Who sings that song? Simply Red. Nailed it. Two buck, huh? Oh. Simply Red? Yeah. Isn't it? Jamie, look it up. If you don't know no. me by now, Simply Red. No, it's not. It's like a bigger person than that. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Strike Force Energy has got four amazing flavors: grape, ridge, lemon, orange. Uh, God damn it! Wow. It is simply red. You, wow! You wow! MFers, Who in the dude? fuck is simply red? You bet, dude. Look at this steel trap of a mind. Oh, shut. <laughs> Fuck. Ten pack, forty pack, seven fifty milliliter bottle. Red. Um, gang banging a little rock, dude. No carbs, no sugars. Put this in your put this in your pipe and smoke it. Put it in your pipe and smoke it, or put it in your white claw. Um, it'll it'll spice it up a little bit. Everybody went white claw. Um, everybody's going white claw Super Bowl. Um, we're recording this before the Super Bowl, so I don't know what happened yet. I don't know if I'm a champion or not, but uh, you can check the feed if I am. Uh, go to strikeforceenergy.com. No carbs, no sugars. Last longer than five-hour energy. Tasty, tiny little tin pouch. Rip it open and squeeze it into any liquid available. Do it now, people. Uh, last but not least, straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you right. Mm, there Boop. it is. Boopies. Uh, straightrazors.com is the only razor you need to be a real man in this world. Are you a real man or are you a pretend man? Are you a little boy? Are you a little boy man? Are you a little Thai lady boy? Uh, go to straightrazors.com, promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. Look, man, uh, I use the smolder every day, the aftershave and the cologne every single day. The straight razors are second to none, man. If you're worried about using a straight razor, well... I've got a safety razor. Grow up. Yeah, grow up. Quit being a little baby. <laughs> what are you looking up? You still looking for Simply Red? No, I'm in a Simply Red hole now because they've done so many other yeah. songs. Why do I not know them? I... Holding back the years? Yeah. Come on, James. Name one more. Holding back the years. That's not. Is that how it goes? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Jamie just confirmed it. I'm a fucking Simply Red fan, dude. Um, you know who they look like? The guy, the lead singer looks like, uh, you remember the blonde guy in uh, Good Will Hunting? How about them apples? Except okay, this guy's yeah, got red yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So picture that guy, but with red hair. And um, mm. then you'll know exactly who Simply Red is, or maybe not. Um, 
Uh, are you pl- are you going to simply red hole right now? Not what I thought it was. Oh, uh, James, you're not a simply red fan. No, you're not it's a fucking not what cone I th- head. You don't know like real artists. Mm-mm. Yeah. Nope. You don't know Monday, that song. Tuesday night to men. I don't know that one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's only love. I, I like mean, how you're just playing simply red songs and just not knowing any oh, of them. I do not like simply red. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I just that, needed to make sure that comment was simply Jabe's. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I do not like simply red, but I do like <laughs> straight razors. <laughs> straightrazors.com promo code revolution 20% off Jabes. do you think with your mustache you want to go maybe try like a broom one no where it's like goes where it's like a th- thick one do all you the way like that? from the side of the nose do you want me to have that as the question I don't think so I don't know how it would look but there's just different like types why how do you know you can't grow it over your lips like not that. over the lips but like a thicker one Mm. Like taller, yeah. a taller one. I don't know. It might be too much. Oh, okay. I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep the mustache. Why? What, do you do you like it? I like the mustache. Yeah, I like it. Um, but you know, it's uh, it gets run, in the way. Run its course. Yeah, it gets in the way. Oh, okay. I like ma- making out hard with my lover, and um, oh. the mustache gets in the way, Jesse. So, well, you know. We'll see if she minds, cause who my lover? Yeah, it's you, Javes. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> Today's all about making you feel uncomfortable, isn't it? Always <laughs> <laughs> on my other show too. Really? Tiffany started this new thing where she has people submitting, cause you know how I hate like lady boner. Yeah. Sploosh in my pants is one that she says. Oh, makes God. Me, I know. Thank you. That's what I do every time. It's a terrible phrase. She started a new one. It's called Flooded My Basement. That one really ah. flooded my basement. Oh, <laughs> well. And I was like, oh. I'll get behind that. Oh, you'll get behind that one? I Great. like that one. So <laughs> I guess that's the name of all of the show. That's, that's the name of the game on all the shows, right? Flooded My Basement. Make me feel uncomfortable. A lot of people were talking about the Chocolate Seagull after we did that on the last show. Oof. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I did not like that one. Well, I did not like that one. <laughs> Everybody else did, James. The grossest sexual positions. Um, uh, Ibby, our, our <laughs> editor on the show, he, after that episode, he was just like, Young boy. Yeah, he goes, Man, that's really fucked up. <laughs> and I go, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, uh, Traumatized. He goes, Me and my friends used to make up sexual positions all the time. And I was like, Really? And he goes, Oh, yeah, it's super fun. But well, here's the thing. So he, he had a formula for it, um, which I'll, I'll announce to the audience. Oh, sure. And then once, I, once he said it, I was like, Oh, yeah, you're right. So take a state. Okay. Um, and then a power tool. Okay. So I was just like, Oh, the Alaskan chainsaw. Oh, okay. You yeah, 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 yeah. That's fun. That's fun. Uh, the Georgia screwdriver, like you can do. The, he was correct across the board. Right? I was huh. just like, oh, all right, cool. Huh? Um, you know. Yeah. The uh, the Arkansas nail gun. Right. You know. <laughs> There's a bunch. Yeah. So if you're at home and you're like, man, how do I come up it with a disgusting oh, a power tool? Power tool, yeah. So it's got to be a, the the state plus a power. Because I was like the Kansas City level. Not no, good. no. If you're, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait. A level is not a power. tool. I know that's why I said it has to be. Oh, because I was like, oh, it has to be a power tool. The um, <laughs> the Kansas City jackhammer. Um, you know, the New York stud finder. Yeah, there it is. Boom. That's just a gal. Just a gal, yeah. That's just a person. Yeah, who is that? <laughs> Who's the New York stud finder? Yeah. That's just <laughs> a, every woman or all the time. It could be a, a a phrase for a you know a gangbang. You know. Oh, okay. Not all of them are going to be studs. Okay. You got to find one of them. Okay. So. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is gonna be. You're gonna be locked into this all day now. Yeah, it's easy to to send me down a 
a rabbit hole, right? <laughs> it is. And then I'm just like, Goo. Goo. <laughs> I just shut down. Goo. Let's see. Um, by the time this airs, the, oh. the, the impeachment trial could be over, by the, the way. The Oklahoma paint sprayer. Oh, it's perfect. Look at that. Ish. Oof. You know what that is. Well, it's it's a whole day, and it's a a, a ruined room is yeah, what it is. Yeah, it is. Goddamn right it is. You got to put some tape down. You have to dexter it. <laughs> yeah. You got to dexter the whole room. Yeah, because there is not going to be a dry, a dry corner. No. Not after the Oklahoma. It's not going to be a clean, a, a clean spot in the place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the time this airs, by the way, we don't know if the impeachment thing is going to be over. Um, I've been reading stories all day of like, hey, this this will be over. What? Yeah. Oh. Um, they don't know if they can get uh, witnesses at all. So it, it appears as if that'll be blocked. Mm. Uh, both sides are bitching, and it's like, um. I, this is the dumbest thing of all time to me. So there was a guy, there was a, because Trump's got a team of lawyers. Mm-hmm. And um, obviously, and then the Democrats have their own thing in there. So the Democrats want witnesses to be called and during this trial, right? Sure. The Republicans have said, great, we'll do that. But we want witnesses as well, as long as, as well as the whistleblower. Mm-hmm. And they said, no. No, yeah. So it's just like, what are we doing? Right. What, what is all this? Mm-hmm. What is all of this fucking stupid shit? Uh, just a waste of taxpayer money. As I looked at this fucking table of high-powered lawyers, is Alan Dershowitz was one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was just like, man, I know what his fee is. The American public is paying for all this shit for mm-hmm. nothing, mm-hmm. for absolutely nothing. Mm-hmm. Uh, what a waste of fucking money, time, resources, everything. There's an election in nine months. Just go win. That's it. Just win the fucking election. That's yeah. simple. Stop wasting our time with this stupid shit. So it could be over. Um, mm-hmm. They're they're going back and forth today, of of what what they're gonna do. But uh, by the time this airs Monday, eh, eh, it could be it. And so if you're wondering why we didn't talk about it, mm. that's why. Mm. Uh, pre-recorded. We don't know. Um, the other thing I wanted to chat about was uh, there was an entire school district in Ohio where 600 students called in sick. So there's this weird fucking flu. Um, going on right now mm-hmm. and uh these little kids are wearing masks on, in here like they're in ohio in this f- yeah in this photo like it's the fucking uh like it's the bird flu okay. the coronavirus right where okay. i'm like oh, all right because uh, right now just looking at the stock market dropped 600 points because of simply because of worries about this virus well there's just so many more cases just from I don't know when when is this airing? Uh Monday. So yeah. As of today. Mm-hmm. So yesterday there was a shit ton of just new shit coming out. New really? people dying. Yeah. And it's it's the kind of thing where do we have to be really scared about it here? No. But like a bunch of humans in the human race are dying of this crazy shit, right? Yeah. So do I personally need to be afraid of it? I don't know. But I think it's a really big deal. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? When that many people are dying? Yeah. I, kind of where, you know, like I looked at the case in Chicago, right? Uh, that was like the first case of a transmitted disease of this disease from person to person. Mm-hmm. So this guy or this woman flew back from Wuhan. Mm-hmm. Wah! Right. Got you all in check. She flew over um, back to Chicago, and now her husband has it. But uh, it was, we talked about this on Drinking Bros. Fake News last week. They were, she was 60. Mm-hmm. And it was like, you know, when you're older, you're more susceptible to this mm-hmm. shit. So, like, is that what it is? And mm-hmm. um, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with this. Like, I've seen I'm some not weird fucking videos either. on my friend's Facebook where it was just like, is that real? Because that mm. looks like a fucking horror movie over there right oh, now. Oh, yeah. Uh, I showed them to you, and you were like, what the fuck is this? And yeah. I was like, allegedly, this is what's going on in their hospitals yeah. right now. Yeah. Um, but I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, if it's big enough for the market to drop like this, yeah, something's going down. The problem is we depend on China too much for all of our shit, and it's like... You know, I was trying to think if if there was ever like a weird outbreak in the United States, 
No, I can't remember one. Can you? Mm-mm. That was caused by us, caused by our country in this country. No, um, the other shit came from Africa. Yeah, and um, what was it? Ebola or? Yeah, it was Ebola. Yeah, um, and then now this. And it is didn't from even China. come. There was only one case of it. Yeah, that came over here. And it's like, you know, they keep fucking with these animals. I don't know what's going on. Who's fucking with the animals? Well, this, this, you know, this is from a snake in China. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Why is that from a snake? Mm. What the fuck were you doing with it? Trying to put a human head on it. <laughs> yeah, right. Something, right? right? Isn't Attaching that what they're do- an ear what are to they their doing? back. Yeah, they're doing all these fucked up treatments with animals What are they doing with, with the over there. monkeys? Yeah. Putting human, human, human face? faces on them, yeah. So, like, is this some kind of weird experiment that went wrong and we don't fucking know? Well, Maybe. we'll have to wait for the next season of uh, Black Mirror. Because they'll tell us. Won't they? Yeah, they always do. It's crazy, right? Mm-hmm. All I kept thinking during all this, this shit I'm reading is, when's Black Mirror coming out? Yeah. Because they're going to tell us. Because I need some answers. Yeah, yeah, real quick. Real yeah. fucking quick. And I need it to be broken down t- t- in terms that I can understand, which is a show. Yeah. Because now this is going to fuck up. You know, stock markets and all that shit are on quarterly reports. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you have to do a call and blah, 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 right? Uh, tell them why you either missed or succeeded in your prices and returns for that quarter. Mm-hmm. It's going to fuck up everything stock market-wise for another quarter. If you can't get shit in and out of China um, because of this, whatever diseases this up, fucking hey, dude. Mm-hmm. I wish we just get out of there with all this trade shit. Let's do it all here. We have the capabilities too. Do we? But we miss those tiny China hands that are doing it cheaper. Mm. Um, Shame. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I, I don't know. If it's affecting the markets this bad, something's going on. Um, the other thing I want to talk about was uh, uh, Loretta Lynn. Trash and country music. She's one of my faves. Old school. Um, she did a fucking album. You want to talk about doing something when you're older and being smart about it? She did an album maybe eight years ago. She's fucking old, too. She's probably got to be like 83 right now. Uh, no, she's 87. Is this the one that performed? Uh, no, that's, that's Tanya Tucker. Tanya Tucker, sorry. She Go looks ahead. 87, but she's definitely not. She's okay. probably in her 60s. That's a weathered, um, that's a weathered 60. Yeah. Uh, Tanya, probably part, or, uh, partying with your dad. L- Loretta Lynn. Um, was old school country like yeah 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 back in the day always mm. been great. She mm. wanted to do an album about eight to ten years ago, mm. and uh, yeah, exactly. You, typically, you're like, oof. You know, who she hired Jack White. Smart. Album was dope oh, I remember fuck. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. She had that. a song called Portland, well, Oregon. That's uh, yeah. ended up going like. Oh no, I remember them working together for yeah. a long time. Won, yeah, a, yeah, won yeah. a Grammy yeah, and yeah. all that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, she came out and said, "Country music is dead today." And that it's a shame. Um, She's probably right. She is. Yeah. And like, once you stop to that, think though. about it, yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. oh yeah, that's right. That it's because it's all well, like. Who's the biggest country star right now? Blake Shelton. Weird. Luke right? Bryan. Like, yeah. oof. Florida Georgia Line. Yeah. Oh. Sunrise, sunburn, <laughs> sunset, repeat. Can you be more fucking retarded? Sorry, I said I did say the R word. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes yeah, you, yeah. Have to, yeah, you have to. You know so. what I mean. Sometimes you've got to. Yeah. Um, and I I only busted out, you know, for the very best, Luke. No. Yeah, because actual Luke apparently people is who are like actually the greatest retarded. guy of all time. Just saying, but the stuff that they're putting out is so juvenile and so basic and so like <laughs> beers and co- you know what I mean. I grab a beer from my cooler and I suck my buddy's dick. Right. Yep. Very and I drive similar. my truck around, and I put it, you know, get all muddy and dirty. <laughs> and right. I suck my buddy's dick. And I suck again. my buddy's dick, and then I get dirty. And then I shower and, and suck repeat, my and I just sunset repeat. <laughs> right. Yes. And what song is that? I'm thinking of a specific song, but yeah. Yeah. Well. I forget who sings it. Maybe that Australian country singer, uh, uh, Keith Urban, maybe. Uh, the gay one? Maybe the one that wins all the of the country. The, uh, yeah. Everything in country music is uh, the, uh, the very straight Australian country singer. <laughs> so, 
yeah, Tanya. No, Loretta Lynn. Loretta Lynn. I think She's we right. knew that, right? You know, until she came out and just flat out said it, you're like, eh, maybe there's still a couple people left. Like, because Chris Stapleton came out uh, and changed it and was like, ah, oh, maybe it's going back. And then I was in a liquor store because here in North Carolina, we only have ABC stores. Yes. Which is bullshit. Like every other goddamn place in America, you can just walk you can into a get grocery your store. your liquor and your eggs at the same time, which yeah. is, makes everything so easy. Or you just go to a liquor easier. store. Yeah. Either way, you have to go to an ABC store here. There's like three in this town, literally. Uh, I walk in and there's a fucking huge ass poster not, or one of those stand up. Oh, a cardboard cutout. Cardboard cutouts of Florida Georgia Line and their mm. new whiskey. Oof. It tasted like shit. You know? And uh-huh. it's like, man. And it's just, it's jeans that they cut. You know, like, mm-hmm. I can't stand jeans that are pre cut. Like with holes and shit. Don't cut it yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, don't do it. How um, are you supposed to get it? What's up? They, it needs to be bought. Wearing it. Cut. Yeah. No, wear it. And, may, and it's, if, you're, if they're fucking old enough, they'll cut up like that, you know? Oh, like, well, I can't really say guys. anything because any girl jeans Correct. Are, already have holes. And in the, you know the, the key word in that sentence? Girl. Oh, fair. For a dude, don't fucking do that shit. Don't okay. buy fucking pre-cut okay. hold in the jeans mm. bullshit. Like, you're not a fucking man. Like, don't do that. Because we all know where it really, the holes start, and it's in the crotch. Yeah. It's not, you know, in your knee, whatever, right? But if they're old enough, great, they're old enough. If you get a fucking dip ring in your back pocket. There you go. You dip. You know what I'm saying? That's why the go. ring is there. there you so, go. there they are. Cut up jeans. Sure. Cardboard cutouts telling me to buy a whiskey. Fuck you, dude. Like, so you bought it? No. I'm joking. Yeah, so I bought it. <laughs> so and then I, I brought it. I sucked the mail clerk off before I left. Because <laughs> that's what you do, Florida Georgia Line style. And I was just like, oh my God, dude. Yeah, I mean, yeah. What have we come to? A Florida Georgia Line is telling me what kind of whiskey to buy? Yeesh. I'm all fucking done with that. But she's right, dude. Country is. Because all, do all have of these that dudes. Song stuck in my head now. All these dudes are like that now. Yeah. Um, I feel like the chicks go harder. Oh, yeah. Who's Blake Shelton's oh, ex? Yeah. So Miranda Lambert, I don't know if that's real country, but I know I fucking like it. Do you know what I mean? But it's, cl- it's, it, it's close enough to the old school shit that you're like, all right, cool. Chris Stapleton's great. Right. Um, there's a few that are out there, but like mm-hmm. the ones that are getting the main radio play and like the, you know, the heavy hitters is, is it's like this pop country and mm-hmm. then it's rap. I, oh, with it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a, God, there's a specific genre they're calling it. I forget the name of it, this rap country. But um, yeah, well, they're mm. just kind of rapping about doing stuff, and I'm walking my jeans, and I'm fucking oh, my dog. Oh, and oh. I'm doing this, and I'm doing that, you know? You're walking your jeans, and you're fucking your dog? Because well, it's not a hardcore rap, right? Uh-huh. It's just a talk rap where it's just like, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then I'm heading down the street, and I'm ripping my jeans, and it's I'm an appropriation, my dog, yeah. and I'm on this it's log. It's a cultural yeah. appropriation. You can't get on this log because I'm here, and I'm fucking my dog <laughs> on this log. I like it. Take your hands off the this log. The more we sing these songs, I'm like, actually, <laughs> maybe they're right. I mean, Sunset Repeat, you know, Sunrise, Sunburn, Sunset Repeat, right yeah. now is stuck in my head. yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. who's doing it right? I don't know, you know, but. I like Casey Musgraves. She's fucking kind of old school country. Yeah. I enjoy her shit. Yeah, but I don't think she's claiming to be anything. I think she is trying to be her own sort of style, which is a melding of like different things, right? Yeah, she's rad. We all know you think she's rad. Spacey Casey's rad. Um, but, uh, yeah, the rest of it is just kind of, it makes me really, really, I know, I know I've joked about this for like over a year at this point. It makes me really want to write that gay country album. If I had the fucking time to do all this shit, I would. Sure. Cause I, I enjoy making those songs. I would make that whole gay country album where it's just like, and I have like, I've jotted it down. I probably got eight songs, mm-hmm. but it's just like, man, if I could just roll into a studio for a week, I could bang out an album real quick. Sure. Hardcore gay country mm-hmm. album. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, fuck tough. All those songs will be on there. Right. Breathe hard and fuck tough. But yeah, this is this is kind of where we're at. I love that you know that Luke Bryan song. It's everywhere, isn't it? It's everywhere, but it's just 
it's that one clip that they keep showing on either like Today Show or something uh, of him singing that and the way that he does that and mm-hmm. then looks up drives me fucking nuts. So we have a friend who's a country singer and through this other friend I asked him I was just like hey man what's the fucking deal with this shit like uh, and then what he said was right now in the country world people are giving their best songs to Blake Shelton's to Luke Bryan's right because they will be hits and you yeah. get the money for yeah. writing them yeah. instead of them doing mm-hmm. themselves or mm-hmm. original voices and shit mm-hmm. like that mm-hmm. so if you're wondering why it's getting kind of stagnant out there. That's why. It's because people got to eat and live and they're giving sure. up their best shit sure. to these other fuckers. And it's like. That's the best shit. Because mm. like God's Country, Blake Shelton. like Yeah. That was an old school country song. And it was yeah, fucking dope you're as right. shit. But he you're didn't right. write that. It was somebody else's. Exactly. He did not write that. Um, you know. He hasn't written a good song since he was with that other. I don't know if he ever wrote, to be real with you. So him and Miranda. I know. Well, she wrote. And so they wrote together. Yeah. And so they got writing credit on literally one of their songs, maybe, mm-hmm. that they wrote together. Um, That was a good country couple. It's but a power hey. couple. But hey. She didn't want to have kids, huh? That was it. I don't know. Doesn't seem like he wants to have kids either. He does. Well, he not does. sure if you're with the right gal, but hey. Well, I mean, he, go he, on. she came with a batch of them. So now go on. She, you know? Oh, okay. So he just wanted to be around kids. Yeah, he wanted to be a dad. There's a difference. That that was yeah. the rumor. I don't know if it's true, but yeah, um, yeah. There's a lot of rumors about them. What was the other one here? That she cheated on him mm. with someone. Okay. Um, because when uh when Gwen Stefani and him were getting together, they were both apparently dealing with the same thing. Which was their significant other cheating on them uh, and then a divorce. Okay. But, you know, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Two to tango. Takes two to tango. Does it? I think so. I think if you're honest, when people, um, I think if you're really honest with yourself, and most people say this, after you've had some time to really sit with it, if somebody does cheat on you or go outside the marriage or whatever, there was something wrong before, right? Yeah. You're not a total, total victim. I guess maybe sometimes you are. Maybe. But even in the choosing of that asshole, you have to take accountability, right? Which asshole? The asshole that cheats on you or whatever. Sure. Right? Don't, you have to, don't we all have to take kind of responsibility for our yeah. choices and our actions? What do you and tell our, friends, though? What? If, you, if, if, if a friend is going through that, what do you say to them? That, uh, that it takes two to tango. Mm. That you have to adju- address problems as they come up. And if you don't address them, bad things happen. Okay. Don't you think? I think so, yeah. yeah. I don't think that happy, happily married people go outside the marriage. Yeah. I don't think. Maybe there might be a couple out there that are like so in love and so happy and then just cheat. Yeah, she's so just like, look. <laughs> look. I don't know. I don't know. Sunrise, yeah, sunburn, <laughs> sunset, repeat. <laughs> right? Maybe that's the answer <laughs> to all of our problems. Maybe it is. Maybe it's all just as simple as Luke Bryan says, you know? Right. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> and when you have that kind of money, I really do think that life is that simple. Probably. Right? Probably. <laughs> Maybe not for him because he needs to work. Yeah. But I think for the people around him, I think it might be that simple. <sighs> Sunrise, sunburn, sunset, repeat. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Gosh, when he got that song sent to him, he must have just been like, oh. I love it. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> right? Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> I don't know. When you get to the revolutionary figure of the day, Jabes. 
Sure, but I want it to really be about the revolutionary figure. What do you mean? I don't want it to be about you. It's not about me. Okay. Why Why is it about me? It's just a challenge I'm putting up to you. That whoever this revolutionary figure is, we're going to make it totally about them. Great. Uh, this one's going to go out to Michael James Hucknall. And who is this? The lead singer of Simply Red. Okay, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Beautiful. I don't like the band. Come on, man. I've given them a chance. What's oh. the song? If you okay, I do like that song, if but I like a, now, I like the cover now. of it. If you don't know me by now, holding back the years has fucking. That song is held up forever. Don't like it. Don't know it. <laughs> I heard it and I didn't know it. I didn't. Let's leave it up to the audience. Did ja- I? Jamie, at the end of this. Yeah, <laughs> at the end of this show, we're putting in holding back the years. Are you a fan, Jamie? Yes. Same. Oh, okay. Yes. We're not. No. What? Yeah, I was. I was a child when this came out, but um, um, this song actually, is... I do. I do like holding back the years, and I like if you don't know me by now. But I only like the cover of that song. You only like the cover of that song. Okay. <laughs> sure. Um, Somebody does a cover of it. <laughs> So you don't like it by Simply Red. No, like no, the, no, 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 no. I don't like their synthetic, it. like, bonk, bonk, bonk. Yeah, I mean, they were an 80s band, so. <laughs> uh, um, no, uh, I, you know how I know them, to be honest with you? My, uh, my father. You're going to make it about you. I'm not. Was a disc jockey, and um, he played everything across the board, you know? Mm-hmm. That's probably why I like yeah, that's true. Uh, all music in general, right? Yeah. Because um, he worked for so many different genres of radio station, country, rock, all this other shit. So yeah. he would come back and play albums all the time um, when I was a kid and uh, then decide whether or not they were good enough to go on the radio. Oh, okay. So Simply Red was one of them. And then right around this range, um, right around this time was Bruce Hornsby and The Range. Um, oh, okay. And that was another one where it was just like, all right, I you know I kind of get it if you're making love to your lover, Jabes. You know, put on a little simply red. Mm-mm. Yeah, you do. Mm-mm. Holding back the you know yeah right before you go in a straight so mesh. Hold, yeah, so I do like holding back the years, and I like um if you don't know me by now. Um, what was but the Bruce Hornsby song every, that you what liked? It was a massive Bruce Hornsby in the range song that was right around the time of of this. that. Yeah. Um, allow me to look it up. Please <laughs> do, because I sure as heck can't. I want to see if they were the same years. The way it is. Back. Yes, yes, they were a year apart. That's just one the was way it one is. Was, yes. Some things will never change. Oh. That's just the way it is. Yeah. Ugh. See, we were kids. You know what I'm saying? But these songs held on forever. Well, it's dad. Dad songs. Yes, because your fa- your parents play them, and yeah. then you know them as a child, and that carries over. They're playing playing these songs. You hear you hear these songs coming from the garage, along with a waft of something you don't Mara quite Queens understand smoke. yet. Yeah, yeah. Did your dad smoke? Mara Cleaning Queens? up my ashtray. Yes. So he's he he's, did. He smokes cigarettes, and and also he's no longer with us. But uh, he smokes cigarettes and and weed. Um, yeah. Well, here's the thing. I, don't think I didn't know. My dad know. smoked cigarettes, but he definitely smoked. I lunches. didn't know what weed was and whatever, right. right? So, this was like, you know, in the age where you just smoked in the house and everybody did that. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I came back from wherever the fuck I was and uh, there was a different odor in the house. And mm-hmm. I was like, oh, this doesn't smell like cigarette smoke. Mm-hmm. And he was like, oh, yeah, uh, just uh, wash in the ashtray. Just clean out the ashtrays. You know, just got to yep. get in there and wash it. And, uh, I get rid of that smell. So incense, that's what that is. And I was like, oh, all right. Incense worked on me for a long time. I'm like, oh, it's just incense. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. You know? Yeah. And um, especially when you are from hippie town, there's always just like Nog Champa and Sage in everyone's house. Nog Champa? Do you remember Nog Champa? No, that we've, we never had that in Georgia. The Nog fuck Champa. Is, what, what the fuck is that? Ugh. So it's this, it's incense. Everyone 
I feel like there's going to be like, this is going to be a Rammstein situation where everyone's going to be like, he didn't know what Nag Champa was. I don't know. What Maybe Nag was. I hope, but it's it's it looks very, it's incense, stick incense. Does it look like and a it blew, uh, sparkler? It look. I mean, all stick incense looks like a sparkler, but this um, particular brand of it, it looks like it's traditional Indian, right? And it's blue with okay. a red on the front. If you saw it, you'd be like, "Oh yeah." All right. Because I think it was. In L.A. too, around the time that you were there. Nog Champa, huh? Nog Champa. <laughs> Come on, Jesse. Come on. Maybe it was a dream I had. But Nog Champa. It sounds yeah, I'll like put a, a picture like of it. Like an eggnog stick you chew on. I know, <clears throat> but it was this. It was the classic incense that you would burn when you were smoking weed and wanted to cover it up. That or people are always burning sage. So again, in Ojai, walking around from house to house or be my parents' house anywhere, yeah. like you can't decipher between Nag Champa and sta- sage <laughs> and weed. So for a really long time, I didn't understand what that smell was, even yeah. even though it was around me at all times. I'm gonna. I, I think that's gonna be my new nickname for you. Nog Champa. Yeah. <laughs> My little Nog Champa here. Um, <laughs> two for dinner. The melting pot, please. Two. Uh, uh, last mean, name, Nog Champa. I mean, I have to look it up now, and you're going to have to put the picture of it up so that everyone can be like, Ross, you didn't know what Nog Champa was. Or they can say, Jesse, you're delusional. Don't think that everyone knows your dumbass shit. Yeah. It's one or the other. It's one or the other. You're holding back the, the years. years. It's one or the other in this world. Nag Champa, yeah. Yeah, but is it pronounced Nog? I mean, we would just call it Nog Champa, but it was N A G C H A M P A. Nag Champa? Yeah, but you don't want to say Nag Champa. Yeah. So it's Nog Champa. <laughs> and it's very Indian, right? So you're like Dalai Lama. Sure. Nog Champa. Yeah. And you had Indian food last night. Look at you. I did. Only the white people stuff, though. Sure. It was good. Nobody, no white people like the real Indian food. No, no. We like a, a garlic naan, which is basically pizza, yeah. in a chicken tikka masala, which is basically tomato sauce. Yeah. Yeah. But really good buttery tomato sauce. I get it. You do get it. I get it. Uh, Jamie, let's, let's fire that up. Let's fire up the Simply Red here to, uh, to lead us And let's out. light some Nog Champa. Yeah, and really, and really find like ourselves. And then what you're going to do, light up some Nog Champa, <laughs> listen to some Simply Red, lay down with your lover, and have Mish. A lot of eye contact, okay? A mm-hmm. lot of eye contact to everything we just gave you. You're welcome. This is a pre-Valentine's Day gift from Jesse and I to you. For Jesse Wiseman, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the revolution. Good night, everyone. Hold him back. Yep. Good night. Good night.